Jesus, he never fails. Jesus, he never fails. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But Jesus never children everywhere that the Lord will continue to save. It's yeah. not going on, so just keep them in prayer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody else said, oh, my, my brother? Amen. Just uh, continue to keep me in prayer, keep my family in prayer. Uh, let's keep one another lifted up. <coughs> keep you lifted up in prayer. Pray that the Lord's will be done. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, we'll stay uh, humble and our uh, spirit will stay open. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at my phone. A friend of mine sent me a text today from Connecticut saying that a guy in his church was was dying. Okay. So I told him I would uh, mention his name in prayer tonight. His name is Dean McQuay. Okay. Amen. Yeah, Amen. 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 Bless you. Thank you. My brother. Well, I remember <coughs> in prayer. I remember praying for the success of the service this weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Anniversary. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Lord anoint. I can say. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That'd be great. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I'll tell you, church to stand. Amen. There be our prayer, oh gracious Father, in the name of Jesus. We certainly thank you, Lord, and praise you for your greatness and your mercy, your love and your kindness. We thank you, Lord, to have you blessed us and watched over us and kept us even unto this very hour. Yes. We pray, Lord, that you would bless each and every request that's been made known to you. Yes, Remember men and women and children everywhere. Yes. Remember, Lord, that you save and add to the church daily such yes. as should be saved. Yes. And we pray, Lord, that you would bless our service on today. Yes. Remember those that are sick and afflicted, Lord. Hallelujah. That need healing, that need yes. deliverance, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Yes. Remember the young man that is that they claim to be dying, we yeah, pray, Lord, that you would turn it around Amen. according to your will, Lord. Remember our family members and our loved ones yeah. in a special way, Lord, in the name of Jesus. And we pray, Lord, that you continue to strengthen us in unity and love and peace. Yeah. Hallelujah. Bless our services throughout this week and on the weekend. Let everything be said and done to your glory. Hallelujah. To the building of your kingdom. And Father, we thank you and praise you. In Jesus' name, let all of us be on one accord. Yeah. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. We certainly praise God and thank God for all that he has done. Yeah. Amen. Truly, the Lord is doing great things for us. He's doing great things to us. And he's doing great things through us. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Tonight, um, I want to uh, shift gears tonight. The Lord had uh, laid it on my heart. Um, to Let's talk about uh, being committed, amen, to the plan of God. Mm -hmm. Being committed to the plan of God. And I know that, I know that everyone here, uh, proof of you being here, uh, is a testament that you want to be committed Amen. Amen, to the plan of God. Amen. Yes. And let's take it a step further. Let's say that we are <laughs> committed Amen. 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 to the plan of God. You know, you don't, you don't walk with God 
uh, being wishy-washy and, and not having your mind made up. And, you know, if you spend any time with God, sooner or later, your mind is going to be made up. Your yeah. heart is going to be fixed. Yes, Amen. Yes, because, because if it's not, you'll drift away. Yes. Amen. Oh, Thank God. you, Lord. You'll drift away. So we, we want to talk tonight about being committed to the, the, the plan of God. Amen. And what is God's plan that we should be committed to? You know, and, and, and how does one how does one remain committed uh, to the plan and to the will of God? Amen. That's those are those are questions. I'm I'm not talking about. Uh, I'm not asking y'all the question, but I want y'all to think about that. Sure. Amen. Sure. How does one remain, amen, committed uh, to the plan of God? Amen. How does one remain that way? And. Uh, uh, in, in doing this, we have to remember that, that God is not as much concerned about the plans that you have for your life Amen. as he is concerned about the plan he has right. Yes. Right. for your life. Right. Amen. 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 Yeah. Amen. And, it's, and that, that's for, for new people uh, that's hard for them to fathom, right. you know, but yeah. as you walk with the Lord, yeah. you come to understand that what God has for you or planned for you is far greater, far greater. Yeah. Uh, than what you have planned for yourself. Right. Yes, Lord. Amen. I was, I remember, this was years ago, I was, uh, I think I was at McDonald's and some, some young lady was talking to me, you know how people come up and talk to you about the Lord? And uh, she came up and talked to me about the Lord, and she was telling me, yeah, I was praying for God to do this and this and that, and this and this and that for me, you know, and, and God is really going to help me to do this and this and that and that and this and this. And in my mind, I'm thinking, well, you know, I don't, uh, I didn't say this to her, but I'm, I was thinking in my mind that God is more concerned uh, about uh, uh, you praying for his will for your life right. than you praying for God to accomplish what you want right. in your life. Amen. You know, and, 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 and that's, 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 that's key yeah. to success in walking with God. Even Jesus said, not my will, but thy will be done. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Leaving us an example. Right. Amen. How we should follow. Yeah. In, in his steps. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. And, and as we do that, uh, the question was, was how can I uh, uh, maintain uh, and, and be uh, always committed uh, to the will of God? Amen. We always want to be committed to what God's will is. We don't want to get in the way uh, of, of the will of God operating in our lives. Can we get in the way of that? Can we impede the progress uh, of God uh, working through us uh, and with us? Amen? Uh, and is, can, that, can that be detrimental? Uh, can I be stuck in the, uh, going around the same mountain <laughs> uh, for years? Uh, I don't want to be stuck in the wilderness. I don't want to be stuck in the same spot uh, because, because I'm, I'm refusing to change. I'm refusing to, to, to get in line with the plan of God. Amen? Amen. So, 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 so the answer, to help us to answer that question, amen, let's go over to uh, John uh, 3, 16. Amen. And the question, like once again I said, uh, how does one remain committed? Amen. I want to be committed. And I want to remain committed uh, to the plan of God. I want to remain committed to the will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Through the storm, through the rain, 
through the sickness, through the pain, and also I want to remain committed uh, through the promotion. You know, when he begins to promote us. Yes. Amen. Because, you know, sometimes uh, people get high-minded when they start getting promoted. Amen. Hallelujah. So we want to we wanna, we wanna be made committed uh, uh, no matter what happens. Amen. No matter what goes on. Amen. Amen. So let's look at John, John 3, 16. Amen. What's it say? For God so loved the world. <laughs> Very familiar passage of scripture. God so loved the world. Wait, wait, let me get there. Wait. All right, it says, for God. Read. For God so loved the world. Yes. That he gave his only begotten son. Uh-huh. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. All right, and normally uh, we stop at that verse. But, but verse 17 also connects. What does it say? For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. All right. So we see here that we're talking about commitment. It says, what does it read that again, verse 16? For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, if we were to break this scripture down, truly to its essence, to its core. You know, um, uh, we would see that it says, for God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Amen? He so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be what? Saved, Saved set free, and delivered. So when we look at this particular scripture, we see that it is God that has literally initiated it. Yeah. Amen? And it's, it's his plan. Huh? It's not our plan. Right. It's God's plan. Yeah. Amen? Right. For God, notice, so loved us. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. That, that he sacrificed. Yeah. He gave. Yeah. Huh? His, his only begotten. In, in some versions it says his, his, that begotten equals unique. Mm -hmm. Amen? Unique son. Mm -hmm. uh, we can all say Jesus is unique. <laughs> uh, he, he, he gave him uh, for us mm -hmm. that notice. What does it say? He gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him uh -huh. should not perish, yes. but have everlasting life. Now, what motivated God to do this? Love. 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 Amen. Love motivated him. Amen? To, to, to reach out to us with his plan. Amen? That, that, that his plan would be to save us and to deliver us so that we can spend eternity with him. Is not that the plan of God? Amen. Huh? Is that the only plan of God? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. That's God's number one plan. Yeah. Uh, anything else other than that is not his plan. Amen? Amen. God, what is, what is God's plan? What is that number one plan? Huh? None should be lost. That none should be... That none should perish. Amen. That none should be eternally separated from him. Am I right? That's God's number one plan. Huh? Salvation. Deliverance. And how does he initiate that plan? Huh? Huh? Through love. Amen. Through love. Through love. Am I right? 
Everything that God does and will do for us and through us and to us is motivated by love. Amen? Yes. Uh, am I right? Yes. So, so the converse of that, I'm getting ahead of my Bible study now. The converse of that, uh, well, no, I ain't going to get ahead of myself. I'm, I'm going I'm to talk a little bit more about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and Paul said, if I give my body to be burned and have not love or charity, it what? Proud of me nothing. He was saying that to let us know that he goes through a whole litany of things. He was saying that to let us know that, that, that the plan initiates with God and the execution of that plan with God is through love. Mm -hmm. right. Amen? Amen? Mm -hmm. So, so let's, let's, let's look at it. Let's go over here then to Galatians. Chapter number five. Let me get there with you. Galatians chapter number five. So love is a choice, isn't it? Yes. 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 Am I right? Amen. Love is a choice. And the Bible says that God was in Christ reconciling, reconciling the world, what? Back, 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 back unto himself. Am I right? Yeah. And, and Jesus, his whole life was to manifest God unto us. Now, I'm going to say something. I'm going to say something. I want y'all to hear me. Okay. Huh? The main thing that he wanted to manifest to you and to me, to us, was the love of God. Wasn't really the power of God, if you allow me to say it like that. But he wanted to manifest to us the love of God. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Because if you obtain the love of God, you'll be able to manifest the power of God. Amen. Hmm. Amen. Think about it. what he said. He said, if you love me, You'll keep my commandments. Yeah. And his commandments are quick and powerful. Mm -hmm. huh? Then he said, mm -hmm. huh? if you love God, he'll come and manifest himself unto you. Am I right? Mm -hmm. And you'll have power. Mm -hmm. Because God is manifesting himself in you. You with me? Yes. If you seek after God with all your heart and your mind, your spirit and your soul, you'll come to love God. Amen? Amen. Amen. And you'll have power. Y'all yeah. right. with me? Yes. Now, because love is a choice, Isn't it? Amen. God wants you to choose to love him yes. exclusively, only. Amen. When did he say to make that statement true? He's a jealous God. He's a jealous God. Amen. Thou shalt have no other God, what? Before me. Huh? What else did he say? Come on, love me. Love me. The uh, reason why he said that because it's it's the it's the power of his plan. Yeah. He did that for us. 
This whole plan is initiated by God because of his love. Amen. Huh? Am I right? Amen. And and if you are going to manifest the plan of God in your life, you have to love yes. Yes. Uh, him. 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 The way he loves you. Yeah. That he's, he, he was he loved you so much, he was willing to sacrifice yes. everything. Wow. The giving of Christ was everything. Yeah. My brother. And he also told them, don't forget him. Yes. For what he has done. Yes. That should bring about love. Yes. Knowing that he delivered the children of Israel from Egypt. Yes. And, and, and set them up. Yes. Houses and land. He said, don't forget me. Don't forget about me. I love you all. Love me back. Love me back. That's, that's what he's saying. Love me back. Huh? The way I love you. If you're going to commit it, if you're going to be committed to the plan of God, you have to love him the way he loves you. Yeah. That's true. Amen. 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 And and because because love is a choice. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. Yes. We are not born with that type of love that is necessary to love God the way he required. If it were, we wouldn't need the Holy Ghost. If it were, we wouldn't be sinning like we, like, 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 like we sin. (laughs) (laughs) Huh? We need help. That's why Jesus said, you've got to be what? Born what? Again. Of the water and of the what? The Spirit. The Holy Ghost. you got to be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Amen? So, so God, God, the wisdom of God, He doesn't even require an individual to walk with Him if they don't have the Holy Ghost. Why is that? Because he know they came. In Romans, it talks about it. You're free from righteousness, uh, in this sense, if you're not born again. There's no expectation from God that you would love him how he requires if you don't have the Holy Ghost. Uh, You need the Holy Ghost. Am I right? Amen. Amen. In order to, to, to be committed to God. Right. Uh, wow. Y'all with me tonight? Amen. Now let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's go over to Galatians chapter number 5 and verse, uh, let's, go, let's do verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. Now notice what he said. But the fruit of the Spirit is what? Love. Uh Uh-huh. Read. Joy. Joy. Peace. Peace. Long-suffering. Long-suffering. Gentleness. Gentleness. Goodness. Meekness. Goodness. (laughs) Faith. I'm reading ahead of you. Faith. Meekness. Meekness. Temperance. Temperance. Against such there is no law. Now what God is saying is... uh, Uh, The fruit of the Spirit is the very nature of God. Amen? It's the very nature of God. And when you receive the Holy Ghost, you literally receive the nature of God. Amen? And if 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 you're a cook and you're looking at any ingredients, you always want to look at what's the first ingredient. The first ingredient is always... Uh, the most potent ingredient. Uh, it's, it's always the 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 the, 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 the the that ingredient supersedes all the other ingredients. Amen. And the first ingredient 
of the Holy Ghost is what? Love. love. Yeah. Now everything hinges on love. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. huh? Everything hinges upon love. I'm trying to get you to see something. Mm -hmm. So when you read the scriptures, when you study any text, look at the manifestation of what the message of love is. Yes. What 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 is transpiring in it that God is trying to communicate to me about his love. All scriptures huh, hinge upon the fact that God is trying to manifest something unto you huh, and that is his love. All scripture. No matter what scripture you go to, it's all based on the love of God. Yeah. What he wants you to see that's connected to his love. Yes, Lord. Bishop. Uh-huh. Every test, every trial that we go through, we see God's love over and over again. Over and over again. Because he could just kill us just like that. Just like that. But it, he doesn't. He gives us mercy. Gives us mercy. And gives you another chance. Gives you time to straighten it out and get with the other person or whatever and, and straighten that out or whatever it is. But his love just continually goes on yep. and on and on. Amen. He never Amen. stops. Wow. Why does God give you mercy? Because of love. his love. Why does God give you grace? Because of his love. Why does God save you? Uh, because of his love. He initiated. Why does God bless you? Uh, why does God give you great and precious promises? Uh, he loves you. Why, why does God do all of that? Because he loves you. Yeah. He in turn wants you to love him yeah. the same. Amen. That you are willing to sacrifice it all and be committed to his plan. Amen. Can I say this? Is God committed to you? Yeah. Huh? Amen. Huh? Consistently. Huh? Committed to us because he loved us. Because he loves us. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, go over with me then to 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 Saint John. John. John, we in a pretty good place. I'm laying down a good foundation. We may be able to leave Earth. <laughs> John, and I want you to see everything through this prism of love. Now, John uh, chapter 15. Thank you, Lord. And God has expressed his love in a great way. Amen. St. John chapter 15. In verse 13, what does it say? Greater love hath no man than this. Oh, read, read that first, the first verse before it. This is my commandment. Uh -huh. That ye love one another. Now, is it a suggestion? No. No, it's a commandment. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. That we do what? Love, love, love one another. another. Love one another. As God, he said, love one another as I have what? Love loved you. Loved you. Yes. Sacrifice. Gave my best. Yes. Amen. For you. Didn't he do it? Yes, mm -hmm. That was his plan. <coughs> Amen. Is that just for the saints? Huh? What you say now? Is that love one for another just for the saints? No, what do you mean when you say it's just for the saints? Yeah, are we to love the saints? No. Oh, no. Love everybody. God so loved the world. But only the saints can do this. Uh, the love we talked about, only the saints can manifest it. Yeah. Uh, because if the world could do it, uh, then 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 it be it, it, it wouldn't be uh, how can I say this? The word I want it it wouldn't be from God. The world can't do this. Yeah. Right. 
Only the saints of God can do it because that's why you need his Holy Spirit. Can't do it without the Spirit. Can't do it without the anointing. That's why he anoints you. Amen. So that's why he gives you the Holy Ghost. Amen. My brother? I would say um, that our love is more conditional uh, without the Holy Ghost. Oh, well, if I'm operating without the Holy Ghost. Yes, our, our yeah. love is more conditional. Yeah. Than once you receive the Holy Ghost. Yeah. I would say our love is matured. Ooh, you messed me up. I'm trying to follow you. <laughs> I know what you're saying. saying one, one, our, our love, like, uh, like say we, you, you love someone. Yeah. This is before you yeah. receive the Holy Ghost. Right. Uh -huh. that's, that's more conditional. Then once you receive the Holy Ghost. Okay, then it becomes unconditional. Well, it, it becomes, your, your love becomes mature. Ah, I can't it's follow your reason. I messed up. Bishop, he's, okay, he's, go ahead. He's putting a condition on it. God loves us without conditions. Yeah. He doesn't love me as long as I don't sin. Right. He's saying if you sin, confess your sin. And right. And he shall be forgiven you. But we'll love people. As long as they do what we want, we them, want to do. them to do. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you, our love in the world is un, it's conditional. But right. when we get the Holy Ghost, it, be, it should become unconditional. Unconditional. Mm -hmm. There Amen. should be no, no stipulations. No attached. stipulation whatsoever. Mm -hmm. Because you love my God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Now, now since y'all hit that point, that's another point in my lesson. That's another point, and I was going to give you some, 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 what do you call it? Some examples to that. That was that what you were saying? What she said? No, no, I was saying that. I was saying that when I say mature, meaning, meaning, once we receive the Holy Ghost, our love, uh, wisdom, and things of that is involved in our love. Okay. So, so, so we can deal. We can deal with more hardship. <laughs> Can, we can, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. We receive the Holy Ghost. Okay. Our love becomes different. Okay. Okay. Now, 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 here we go. Here we go. I see why I was thrown off a little bit by a statement. Right? Um, when we, we have a measure and a level of love that we're born with. Right? The love that we receive from God is totally different. Yes. Yeah. It's, 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 it's divine. Yeah. 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 Uh, it's something that we've never experienced before until you become born again. Oh, <laughs> Hallelujah. Y'all with me? When I got born again, I loved everybody. Yeah. Uh, I would just walk up to people and just start hugging them. They were like, what's wrong with you? Mm -hmm. you know? Full of the Spirit. Full of the Spirit. And the Spirit is nothing but love. Love. Yeah. Told, I, it was an experience I've never felt before. My sister? You just uh, and before you get saved, you feel like it's this emptiness in you. Right. But when the Holy Ghost comes, it yeah. feels that empty. Feels that void. Yes. That love, yes. Come on. <laughs> Come on. If you haven't experienced that, then you should check your fruit. Yes. Say, Lord, did you really give me the Holy Ghost? Yes. Uh, there's a love that's totally different from, from that human love. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Bishop, there is no excuse for a saint to love another saint. No excuse. No excuse. To love not only another saint, but to love everybody. Yeah. Notice he said, God so loved the what? World. World. That's everybody. Mm -hmm. huh? Wow. Am I right? Amen. Uh, and he expects us because that's why he gave us the Holy Ghost. And that's why that first ingredient is love. Yes. 
Because that's the motivation for all the plan of God. Yeah. My brother. So that's why the scripture says that love covers a multitude of faults. I'm saying that. Yes. Because of the love of God, he covers that. Right. Uh, the Bible also speaks about perfect love. Yes. Casting out all sin. Yes. And notice, the scripture he quoted, that we quote that scripture again. About perfect love casts out all fear. Cast out all fear, and then you quote another one. Love covers. Covers, love covers. 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 Uh, a multitude of fault and sin. Yeah. Amen. Notice, it covers. Yeah. Uh, that word cover make, means that it makes excuses for. Mm. Yeah. 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 Huh? Uh, the, the benefit of the doubt. No condemnation. Yeah. I wish I could put up two quotes. <laughs> Go ahead. The thought come to my mind. Shut up. The world, there's a worldly song that says what the world need now is love. Sweet, Sweet love. love. Yeah. Can't, we, if we love what, what, what I get out of that song, if we love like <laughs> we should, there yeah. would be no hurt. Yeah. Nobody would be hurting anybody. Yeah. That would be that wouldn't be so no chaos. Yeah. We, we would need a, 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 a we don't have a would need a, a jail houses. You nope. know what I'm saying? We would need prison. Nope. Because all the world do is hurt. Yep. Thank they you. kill, they steal. Yep. And when you got God's love, yep. you're not supposed to be doing all that stuff. God don't do anything. He has never done anything to hurt us. Never. Because he always show us love. Yep. And love has no pain in it whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And God will not, he, that's why he want us to, to have the Holy Ghost. Because the world cannot love the way God want them to love. They don't know how. Can't do it. They, they don't have the power to do it. Can't do it. And what, they, what, the, what the world call love is of the flesh. Yep. God wants us to have the spirit of love, his spirit. The world can't do it because it has to be revealed. Exactly. And it has to be revealed by his spirit. That's it. Yes. Amen. All right, my brother, we'll move on. So, Bishop, where would the godly love come into this? That's all. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. That's, we're talking about. that's the limit. That's the top. Unconditional. Yep. Unconditional. Yep. What, what he was explaining before when he got into the conversation he was just talking about brotherly love. Brotherly love is conditional. If you, I love you because you love me. You know, we, we brothers. You know, we, we walk in agreement. Uh, God is not like that. God don't want you to be like that. Right. Amen. Uh, God loves you in spite of. Yeah. Amen. Right. That's not it. Uh, and then his love for you gives you opportunity yeah. yes. uh, when you fail. Yeah. That's it. Uh, he ain't ready to choke you out and Come stop on, on your neck. Mm -hmm. He gives you opportunity. Because mm -hmm. uh, of his plan, his expectation. Yes. Amen? Amen. My brother. And also, it was his love, <coughs> but the Holy Ghost was cleaning me up. You know, getting rid of some of those sins. Right. As I kept, as I kept on seeking God. Yeah. That's... It was His love that that broke all those nasty habits. Yeah. You know, it wasn't me. It was His love that broke all those nasty habits. Now, listen yeah. to that what He's saying. The Lord. Listen to what He's saying. Yeah. It was. It was. It was His love unconditionally that when as I walked, He let me see my sins and that and, and God corrected me as I as I walked. I won't be too, too, too quick to get into arguments. Yeah, I won't be, I, I, you know, he let me see, he let me see how, how I can get rid of cigarette habit or smoking or, 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 go, you know, some other sinful things that God just vanished from my life. Now, listen to what he said. That's my brother. <laughs> Felt that thing. Felt it in the shot, <laughs> if I could get back to what he first said, he said it was the love, it was God's love that broke the habit. Yeah. 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 When you connect with God's love, it'll break the habit. Yeah. 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 
It'll destroy the yoke. Because that's all connected to God's plan. My sister. And that happens when you get the Holy Ghost. Yeah. God just saturates you with his love. Yeah. You can't stop praising him. You right. can't stop thanking him. You shout and you, you, you got so much love in you, you just saturate. And it keeps just saturating you with it. Every time you think it's ready to stop, it start all over again. Start all over again. And wow. just, that's what the spirit does when you get it. It mm. saturates you that's with the love of God. Anoint you. Mm. So that the yoke can be destroyed. Y'all understand what we say yeah. about this love? Yes. It's the love that breaks it. Because yeah. that was his plan. Yeah. It's that, that's how the, the plan of God comes to you. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. Now, let's go back over here then to, to, to St. John chapter 15 in verse 13. What's it say? Read 14. Read 14. I mean, uh, 12. This is my commandment. All right, they said, this is my commandment. That you love one another. Love one another. As I have loved you. Now notice, that's, that's the stipulation. Mm -hmm. If I have sacrificed for you, if I have given it all for you. Wow. Huh? Am I right? Because yes. that's, that's his whole plan. Read Greater love hath no man than this. Now, how can you show great love? Read. That a man lay down his life for his friend. Amen. Ain't that what Jesus did for us? Yeah. He showed the greatest uh, love that could ever be manifested in this life. Mm -hmm. Amen. He sacrificed himself. Mm -hmm. He gave it all. Yes. Amen. That was uh, nothing more to be done. Nothing more to be done. Mm -hmm. Gave it all. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. And he did it through love. Amen. Yes. Amen. Anything that you do for God, you have to do it through love. Unconditional love. Yeah. Unwavering love. Yes, Lord. Amen. Amen. Y'all with me? Amen. All right. Now, let's, let's, let's move on then. Do you want me to no, 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 no. Go down to, uh, go to Romans 8.28. We there now. Jesus said, you know, I, I came to do the will of him that sent me. Amen. He did that through love. Everything God has done and is doing is connected to sacrificial love for us. Am I right? So we've already proven that. Jesus came to us as an act of love from the Father. Amen? Right. Amen? Right. Didn't he? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And he left us an example. Didn't he say that? Amen. That we should do what? Following the steps. Amen? Amen? All right, all right, where are we at? Romans 8, 28. Okay, yeah. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Now, when does things work together for your good? That's the condition. If you don't love him, it's not working together. Everything ain't working together for your good. But if you love him, it's working for you. The good, the bad, and the other. Amen. The ups and the downs and the turnarounds. Yeah. Amen. Huh? Amen. Everything is working together for your good if you love God. Amen. 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 So in order for you to stay connected to the plan of God and the will of God, you have to continue to love God. Am I right? In order for God, now I'm going to say something controversial here. In order for God to work everything uh, 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 for you, 
You have to stay connected to him. Once you break your love for God, now I'm going to say something controversial. You on your own. It ain't working for you. It's working against you. I'm going to say something else controversial. If I stumble and fall, if I love God, I stumble and fall because of that scripture. Now, some people say if you love God, you wouldn't stumble and fall. I can agree with that. <laughs> but if you stumble and fall and you love God, you can, that thing can be turned around into a testimony. God can use it. Yes. Paul, the Apostle Paul, he loved God. Yes. He just didn't understand uh, the right expression of loving God until he got the Holy Ghost. Yes. Huh? And then when he got the Holy Ghost, God turned his whole life around and used his whole life to the good. Yes. For a testimony. Hallelujah. We preach about Paul and his dirtiness huh, as a badge of honor. He persecuted the saints, but God turned them around. <laughs> How many of y'all persecuted the saints, but God turned you around? He ain't here tonight. <laughs> so Paul was on the same right way. Yes. And sometimes we can be on that same right way. Yes. Thinking what we're doing is right. Yes. But it's all wrong. All wrong. All wrong. And and if you love God, that 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 can be turned around. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh? Yes. So you can be redirected to get back on God's plan. Yeah. <clears throat> Am I right? Yeah. All right. All right. Where we at? Romans 8, 28. <coughs> What's it say? And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. All right. Now, God has a purpose for you. How many of y'all believe that God has an assignment for your life? Amen. 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 I ain't going to ask that question. I was going to say, well, who's on the assignment? <laughs> I ain't going to ask that question. <laughs> Amen. And the beauty of it is that everyone in here has an assignment on their life, and your assignment is still active. Yeah. Why do I say that? Because you're, you're still living. <laughs> you're still breathing. You still alive. Amen? So, 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 even if you ain't been on your assignment for 20 years, the love of God is giving you another opportunity. Huh? Jonah. Huh? Is that true? All right? Now, the reason why God love is working for you and through you is because of this next verse. What does it say? For whom he did foreknow. Uh, God foreknew you. He was already in a relationship with you. He also did predestinate. He, he predetermined the, the, the way that you should live. To be conformed to the image of his son. There it is. There it is. God gives you his love. So you can be just like Jesus. You can't be like Jesus without the love of God dwelling in you. That's God's plan. Now let me say that again. The plan that God has for you, regardless in connection, that's not regardless, in connection to your assignment, 
is for you to be like Jesus. Amen. Operating through love. The only way for you to accomplish the will that God has for you is for you to be operating in love. Just like Jesus. You understand what I'm saying? Hallelujah. All right. Then, now, now, now we're going to get to the meat of the Bible stuff. Let's lay all that groundwork for us. So we all, so we all understand that it's a love thing. And everything that we're going through, because God loves us, is to make us like Jesus. In his image, his likeness. Anytime you go through a test, Jesus should show up through you. Y'all understand what I'm saying? He should show up uh, in you. Anytime you have a disagreement, a disargument, Jesus should show up in you. Huh? Anytime you operate on your assignment, Jesus should show up in you. Huh? Am I right? Because you're his image. You're his likeness. And the only way that's going to happen is that you have the love of God dwelling in you. Amen? That's God's plan. That's his desire. Amen? Amen? The plan of God is you have his love abiding in you. Everything else is perfunctory. Secondary. If you don't have that first, you can accomplish what God has assigned to you. Jesus. Wow. It first starts with love. Mm-hmm. My sister. I was just thinking, everything you do should be done in love. That's it. Because God is love. God is love. There's no hatred in him. Uh-huh. There's no anger in him. Well, Ooh. there's anger in him. Yeah, there's some hatred in God. He's a consuming fire. Yep, yeah, he hates him. But there's no... He hates, yeah, he hates sin. Yeah, he hates sin. Yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like, yeah. like us. Go ahead. Hating one another. Oh, no. Nope. There's none of that in him. Nope, none. You know, so God is love. So yeah. everything that we do and say. Yep. We, I have to apologize to a person tonight because of That's something good. I said to them. That's good. And, and the Holy Ghost wouldn't let me kind of rest. That's know? good. So... I'm, I'm saying everything we do and say, yes. it has to be done in love. In love. Mm-hmm. In love. Mm-hmm. And that's beautiful. Yeah. Because the Holy Ghost shouldn't let you rest. Mm-hmm. Ah, the Lord said, bring it on home. The Holy Ghost won't let you rest. Oh, okay. It's the spirit of truth. Yeah. Uh, lead you and guide you into what? All oh, true. My God. And your love for God won't allow you to let it rest. No. No. You can't rest until you get it right. Right. Now, have, 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 let me ask you a question. Have y'all ever tossed and turned uh, because you know you did something wrong oh, hey, yes. and you should be in connection and, yeah. and talking to? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, that me all the time. Most times I like to talk about it. But but you know, that's the Holy Ghost. That's the love of God. The love of God saying, Frank, you know I'm going to judge sin. You know I'm going to judge evil. And, And I don't want you to enter into that judgment because I love you. 
So I won't let you go. I won't leave you alone. I'm, I'm going to help you to get it right. If that means rebuking you, Frank, I'm going to rebuke you. Huh? If I, that means shutting up about my promises to you as, as far as my blessings until you turn your heart to me, I'm going to do that, Frank. Uh, because I love you. By any means necessary, Frank, I love you, so I want you to come to repentance. Huh? You follow me? That's love, ain't it? That's right. Some, some people only understand corporal punishment. Huh? I'm one of them ones, just tell me. I believe you. Huh? I ain't got to put my hand on the stove, nor does it's hot. Right. That's true. And this person didn't even tell me that I, I offended them or anything, but down in my heart, I know I did. Yeah. Yeah. So there's none of us that can say, oh, it's, 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 they are be all right. Oh, you, go, you, you apologize. Mm -hmm. When you do wrong, apologize. That's right. Be accountable for what you That's do, right. and you'll get better at it. Yes. Ah, like practice it. Mm -hmm. yes. Get better at it. Mm -hmm. It gets easier. Yes. My, 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 my. That's a principle right there. Yes. My, my brother? Bishop, I'm in the same position. Oh, Jesus. Wow, we need to have a repentance session. I've been called somebody tonight. Yeah. And tell them I'm sorry. My God. Yes. That's I'm good. For the way that I act. Yeah. So what I said. Yeah. I got to tell them I'm sorry tonight. Bye, 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 bye. Confession is good for the soul. It's good. Yeah. Man, this Bible class worth it. Yeah. Oh, you got one too? <laughs> <laughs> no, it, just, it just reminds me of walk, walk back to that story when you was praying for the guy and the Lord gave me a word for him and, and, and I called myself helping you. And then and then I think you turn like you turned your back, you turned around. Yeah. I said, oh, man, did I do something wrong? Yeah. And I asked the Lord. I said, I said Lord, did I do something wrong? And he said, yes, you did. So yeah. that's why I was led to apologize. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. I didn't apologize to you. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm that type of person anyway. Right. You know, because my intentions is never to offend. Yeah. You know, or I'm, I'm not a take charge type. That ain't me. Amen. You know, I'm trying to help. Right. You know, so, but, but, you know, so. Holy Ghost had cleared that up. And, I and, apologize to you. And, and all of this that we're talking about is because they can do a lot. All of this that we're talking about is God's plan. And what initiates the plan that we're talking about? Love. Hmm? It all starts with love. It all ends with love. And everything in the middle is love. When you squeeze me, nothing but love should come out. When I squeeze you, nothing but love should come out. Because God is love. Bishop, always said it's nice to be nice. Absolutely. Uh, and then you won't have to go through all of that. Absolutely. It's nice to be nice. It is. Yeah, now, now I agree with what you said. I totally agree with it 300%. Um, when you said we wouldn't have to go through all of that, I, I totally agree. I totally agree. Uh, the, the, the thing about it is, is that sometimes we get caught up in our feelings and our emotions. Yeah, true. We human. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So there's provision. Yeah. <laughs> so I can get it right. Yeah. Should I be acting like a boo? Uh, oh, I was going to say it. Boop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. <laughs> but should I be acting like a butthead? No. No. <laughs> 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 
Sometimes do I act like a butthead? <laughs> and Bishop, that when he left with my question, I wanted to ask it. Right. Because I thought I would have been out of order. But why is it if we got the love of God so deep in us? Because the love, Holy Ghost brings love. Right. So if you got the Holy Ghost, there's no question that you have love. Right. Why is it that we keep making mistakes? Because we, we got to let the Holy Ghost be in charge. All right. Sometimes I want to exert my will. Come on now. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. Yes. Flesh is a mess. Wow. That's it. Wow. Amen? Yes. That's the problem. So we, 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 we take control and not let God have control. And that's why we have to keep going through the test. Right. You know, the test will repeat itself. Or we keep making the same mistake or other mistakes. And you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, like you mentioned about argument, you can get in a heated argument and, and you can get out of God's will so quick without realizing it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But then you, you can repent later. You can yeah. repent afterwards, but you still got out of God's will. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And his love continue covers you. And you, your love is to, to apologize for what you've done wrong. But at the same time, my question was, uh, is, why do we keep making those mistakes that we're so full of love? Right. Because we're letting our flesh have its way. Right. And it's a process. Uh, sanctification, holiness is a process. That's why we come to Bible study. That's why come we learn. That's how come we be taught. Amen. And uh, being in the presence of God it strengthens your love. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You don't get this over now. Mm -hmm. You don't. And, and it's a reason why God don't allow you to have victory overnight. Right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not because you're a misfit. Huh? It's because God wants you to know His love. And we have to learn love by my Learn own. His yes. love. Jesus learn. said what? What did Jesus say? Come unto me. And Jesus, All you did labor, heavy labor. And Jesus learned obedience through the things he suffered. He suffered. Yep. Learn of me. Yeah. Amen. Learn about my love. Yeah. And the reason why that is because we have a tendency not to appreciate things. Mm. You appreciate more. That's your makeup. You appreciate more of the stuff you work for. You don't work for salvation. Mm -hmm. But to, to get to know God, you're going to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> to get to know God, you're going to be on your assignment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To get to know God, you're going to read, study. Yeah. As we say, fast and pray. Yeah. Oh. Amen. So that so that things you, you, you work for in that sense, you don't just easily give up. You don't easily throw in the towel with you. No. You don't let nobody come in. If I say, give me your car, the, uh, some of y'all be like, well, we're going to fight a little bit first. <laughs> I'm not just going to give you. <laughs> huh? Work too hard. Listen, huh? people say if you press the wrong button, you know, you'll tee me off. Right. There shouldn't be no wrong buttons. Right. Right. People say that. Mm. It's true. <laughs> now, <laughs> we have been talking about the plan of God, correct? Right. All right. Now, God does not want us to disrupt his plan. Mm. God is serious about his plan. And he doesn't, he wants us to be participants with his plan. He does not want us to be stumbling blocks with his plan. Amen? So now we're going to shift a little bit. Amen? Let's go over to Luke chapter number 9. What did I say? 
And drop down to verse 51. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. Okay, now, it's talking about Jesus. He said, and it came to pass, when it was time that he should go to heaven, received up, for Jesus to die. Mm -hmm. All right? Because that's what he came here for to do, right? Mm -hmm. He came here to die, leave you an example that you should follow in his steps. And his mission at this point in time, his assignment at this point in time was to die. Right. Amen? Mm -hmm. Nothing was going to deter him from that. Right? Because that was part of the plan of God. Because God so loved the world. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen? Read. That he, that he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. He was determined huh, to go to Jerusalem. That was his assignment. Yes. He was determined. Huh? God gives us an assignment. And we must be determined because that's God's plan. Y'all with me? Mm -hmm. All right, read. 52. Uh -huh. And sent messengers before his face. Uh -huh. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. All right. So basically, Jesus was going to Jerusalem. And for some reason, he sent messengers before him to, to, to announce his coming. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a king. Right. Jesus is on the way. Uh, get the group together. We're going to have Bible study. Yeah. Let's go by the wayside. Let's go by the riverside. Uh, let's, 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 let's go up to the mountain. Yeah. Jesus coming. Y'all get ready. Get ready for your healing. Get ready for your deliverance. He coming. Amen. So he sent his messengers before him. But notice. And, and went into the village of where? Samaritans. Now, now who knows anything about the Samaritans? What, 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 what do y'all know about the Samaritans? They were the yeah, the good Samaritans. That's the, that's the parable. Yeah. <laughs> Say again. Samaritans and Jews had no dealings with each other. All right. The Samaritans and Jews had poor relations. No dealings with each other. That's what I was going to say. They, they actually was against one another. They were against one another, the Jews. And the Samaritans were against one another. The reason why is because the Jews thought themselves better than the Samaritans. Right. Right. Uh, because the Samaritans were half-breeds. The Assyrians overtook them and inbred with them. Uh, remember the, the kingdom of, of, of the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom? They divided. Uh, the, the northern kingdom was where the Samaritans took over. Uh, and they went into them Jews and they crossbred with them and the southern Jews say, y'all ain't no good. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, they, they start worshiping separately. Uh, animosity, hatred uh, for one another. Y'all with me? Yeah. But now, listen to the scripture. Jesus said, ye shall receive what? Power. After that, the Holy has what? And notice, ye shall be what? Witnesses of me where? In Judea. Judea. Samaria. What? what, what yep. Yeah. yeah, he said that. But did we get in the, Are we saying it correctly? Uh, Judea. Samaria. No, he said Jerusalem. Judea. Judea Samaria. Samaria. Isn't that God's will? So God's will is for the Samaritans to be what? Saved. saved. Not always hated, but to be what? Saved. saved. That's God's plan. That's God's will. 
Does not God love his enemies? Yes. Huh? That, yes. Yes. Amen. We were enemies of God. He loved us. Right. Huh? My sister. I was going to say the woman that she was a Samaritan. She was a Samaritan. Yeah, and that was one of, um, you know, one of the drawing points for her that Jesus was, he was a Jew that came and seen about her, stopped, talked to her, and she witnessed back to the people Come see a man that told me everything I knew. But him being a Jew, that kind of, that was one of the drawing points um, that, you know, that he came in and talked to the Samaritan. So. Look at my Sunday school teacher. <laughs> that, that's, it. that's it. Amen. So was Jesus going to let anything stop that plan from happening? Especially if he let, he planted a seed. Huh? He planted a seed. Wow. Huh? Why? Because it's the plan of God yeah. that them Samaritans be saved. And she brought the whole city back with her. Huh? Yep. Brought the whole city. She forgot. She she forgot about her whoredom. Yeah. yeah. Huh? She yeah. forgot about that elder. Yeah. Wow. She forgot. Hey, come, come. <laughs> I'm Amen. Now no. Now let's look at this. Now, let's look at this lesson here. All right, where we at? 53. 53, read. And they did not receive him. All right, now they didn't receive them Samaritans. They didn't receive Jesus. Because his face was as though he, was, he would go to Jerusalem. Uh-huh, like he was just going to pass through. Uh, and, and so they, the, the Samaritans didn't receive him. All right? And when his disciples, James and John, now, saw this. Now, when James and John saw the sons of thunder... When they saw it, they said, Lord, uh -huh. Lord, will thou that we command fire to come down from heaven? Huh? Lord, you want us to command fire on these people? Huh? How, do you want us to command fire to come down from heaven? Mm -hmm. And consume them? And consume them? Even as Elias did? Uh-huh. Read. Then he turned. Jesus turned. And rebuked them. He rebuked them. And said, uh -huh. Ye know not what manner of spirit ye are. You don't know what spirit you operate under. Huh? <laughs> For the Son of Man is not come to destroy man's uh -huh. life, uh -huh. but to save them. Now notice, is not that the will of God? Amen. Not to destroy, but to save. To save. Even though those Samaritans did not receive Jesus, he didn't turn his back on them. Mm -hmm. huh? He didn't want to kill them. He didn't want to destroy them. Huh? But his disciples wanted to hijack the plan. Mm -hmm. Wow. Huh? When you know what God's plan is to help people to save people, don't hijack it. Mm -hmm. Don't be a stumbling block. Y'all with me? Amen. Uh, That's right. That's right. Somebody come to you, say, I'm, say, uh, uh, I look homeless, I'm ready. Ah, uh, go ahead, get on out of here. Mm. Yeah. Jesus don't want you. Mm. I'm, I'm, I'm hijacking the plane. Mm. The Lord showed me something one day. I told y'all this over and over. Brother Frankie D., Huh? I looked at that brother after I got saved. Lord said, invite him to church. I said, not him, Lord. <laughs> Look at him. All cracked out. Not, not really, I was all cracked out too. <laughs> but the Lord's cleaned me up. Huh? So we could be judgmental, can't we? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ah, not him, Lord. <laughs> uh, I went to, it was a convention. I went to the convention, all duded up, looking good, smelling good. Shouting a little bit, then I happened to look over. I said, Oh my God. Uh, I saw Frankie D. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> I went up on the mountain to the valley. <laughs> hung my head, had to go somewhere and repent. Wow. <laughs> my brother? Yeah, I, it was some Christians came to me. I was talking to this brother in the park when we had went down there for that June Pink thing, and the dude. You know, he was inebriated. He talking to me, he got a can of beer. We talked for about an hour, you know, and after we separated, people, what you doing talking to him? 
like laughing at me. Right. Like I was doing something wrong. Like, right. I'm like, wow. You know? Yeah. Like, That's something. Now look what Jesus said. Read that again. When, the, when, the, when, he, when he rebuked them. But he turned. Jesus turned. And rebuked them and said. And said what? You know not what manner of spirit you are of. Uh -huh. Now notice. What was the problem? They didn't know what spirit you were of. Okay, what spirit was operating in them? Come on now, y'all spiritual. The devil! They had an evil spirit. Satan! When you don't do the will of God, Satan! Hmm? Now, question is, they were stumbling blocks. Did Jesus throw them away? James and, and James and uh, no. John. Did he throw him away? No. No. Why, why didn't he throw him away? The love. They weren't, they weren't ready yet. But he kept on loving them until they got ready. He had mercy on them. He rebuked them because he loved them. Right. Love will cause you to have knowledge and wisdom of God too. Yep. All right. Let's go over then, over here to, to Matthew 16, 21. We're almost done. <coughs> Y'all gonna come back to Bible class next week. Okay. 21, Bishop. Uh-huh. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed. That's Jesus' mission, wasn't it? Right. That was his assignment, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. All right? And he was on his assignment because of love. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? We we're on our assignment because of love. Mm -hmm. I read and be raised again the third day. Uh -huh. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, Lord, this shall not be unto thee. So Peter was trying to hijack the assignment. <laughs> yeah. And Jesus turned around and did what? <laughs> Rebuke him. Uh, don't let nobody hijack the assignment that God has for you. <laughs> be committed. Stay committed. <coughs> Won't you receive opposition? Yeah. Yeah. All right, read. But he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou savest not the things that be of God, Amen. but those that be of men. See, we got to be focused on the things that be of God. All right, now let's go to one more and then we'll be done. Go over to Daniel, chapter 3. This is how we should respond. Y'all got it? Yep, what does it say? What verse? Oh, I think it's 19. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury. He was upset and angry. And the form of his visage was changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. That, that always cracks me up. He was so mad that it changed the countenance of his face. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. yeah, read. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace one seven, one seven times more uh -huh. than it was wont to be heated. Yes. Read. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. He was serious about his command. Read. Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Uh -huh. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, 
The flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Uh -huh. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down bound into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Uh -huh. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, and rose up in haste and spake, and said unto his counselors. Oh, you know what? Let's let's read up from that. That's verse 19. 19? Yeah, that's where you started? I started at 19. All right, go, go, go. What's, what's the verse before that? Uh, I want where they, where, they, where they answered the king. Oh, but if not, be it What verse is that? 18. 18. All right, go to 17 then. 16. If it be Six. so. Go to 16. Oh, yeah. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, uh -huh. O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. All right, now. King wanted him to fall down. Right? Go into the fiery furnace. Notice what notice what they said. What did he say? We're not careful to answer thee in this matter. Now, when did they have time to confer with one another? They did. They said, we not careful. Mm -hmm. They were already committed. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. Before they went to the furnace, they were already committed. As a group. All right. uh, we're not even we're not even careful yeah. to answer you about this. Uh -huh. <laughs> they didn't have a conference between one another, got in a huddle. They were already mind made up, heart fixed. One on one accord. My sister. God was dealing with them at the same time. About yep. the same about this. About the same. He was, with, he was dealing with their heart. That's why they said we. Yeah. Because like you said, they were so in one accord. God had already prepared them. They already had the answer. God had given them to them. And what caused them to have that answer already? Love. They loved God. They was already down there. And they said it. We're not even careful to answer you. We. Uh, mind made up. Yeah. Fixed on the assignment. Yes. Read if it be so, our God, whom we serve, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning fire furnace. He's able, and He will deliver us out of Thine hand, O King. Uh huh. Mm. But if not, if not, be it known unto Thee, O King, uh huh, that we will not serve Thy God, uh huh, nor worship the golden image which Thou hast set up. Uh huh. Then was Nebuchadnezzar yeah. full of fury. That's good, right there. They noticed. They came against his God. We're not, we're going to serve our God. Be faithful unto death. Even if we got to go to a fiery furnace, we're going to be faithful. Huh? God is able to deliver us, but even if he don't deliver us, that's fine with me. Huh? That's commitment. Amen. We got to be committed. Just like that. Amen. All right. All right. Now, I gotta make a quick run, I'll be back. Uh, Court, you, you do an announcement. Make the announcement uh, about, the, about the thing. Okay. <laughs> praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. My announcement is this is Pastor's Appreciation 